do you see some wooden sticks there are some in a square and some are in the circle let's count them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 there are seven sticks in the square now let's count the sticks in the circle 1 2 3 4 5 6 there are six sticks in the circle now we shall put all the sticks in the triangle now we shall count all the sticks in the triangle 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 right there are 13 sticks in the triangle we shall remember the count in units we cannot write a number more than 9 we write the numbers 10 and more than 10 in tens and units we make a bunch of 10 this is a 10 in decimal system we have a units place and a tens place the number of tens completed we write in 10 place and the number of remaining we write in the units place in tens we write the number which is in completed tens and the remaining numbers in units therefore we shall prepare a bunch of 10 sticks out of 13 sticks and place it in tens the remaining three sticks are placed in units a bunch of one tens and three single sticks make one ten and three units we have already learnt to read the numbers we shall write 13 as 1 tens and 3 units. Draw houses as in the figure next to each other. Students, now observe these blocks. We shall build a pyramid with the help of these blocks. There are 8 blocks of red color and 9 blocks of yellow color. Now, we have 8 blocks of red color and 9 blocks of yellow color we wish to build a pyramid of these blocks to make this pyramid one must know the number of blocks to be used let's count the blocks read loudly along with me one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 8 of red color and 9 of yellow color right there are 17 blocks in total but again we shall separate 10 blocks out of it now the total blocks are 10 that is 10 units making 1 tens and remaining make 1 tens and 7 units see we have made a pyramid up till now we have studied the additions of units some additions were less than 10 for such additions we have prepared a table we shall study the additions where the total is more than 10 the additions in bold numbers are either 10 or more than 10 these are two digit numbers whenever there is the addition of units 9 or less than 9 we used to place the addition below the units or tens and then add them accordingly for example 13 plus 12 in the given picture one tens and three units and one tens and two units now let's add units 3 plus 2 5 tens 1 plus 1 2 now if the addition of numbers in units is 10 or more than that what do we do this addition is also simple and easy shivam has 56 chocolates that is 5 tens and 6 units rudra has 28 chocolates that is 2 tens and 8 units let us calculate the total number of chocolates in tens and units in units we have 6 plus 8 that is 14 and in tens we have 5 plus 2 but it is not to be written like this the the 110 from the 14 is to be put in tens 
there cannot be any number more than 9 in units. The 10 which is in units has to be shifted to tens. So, new tens is made and it is called as carrying over. So, now we have 14 is equal to 10 plus 4 equal to 1 tens and 4 units. So, now we have 5 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 8 tens. Shivam and Rudra have a total of 8 tens and 4 units of chocolates. Now, we know that if the addition of units is 10 or more than 10, then it is to be put aside so it becomes 1 tens and then it is to be added 2 tens which is called as carrying over. Mother has purchased a notebook worth 27 rupees and a book worth 38 rupees. How much should the mother pay to the shopkeeper? Now, 27 rupees is 2 tens and 7 units. 38 rupees is 3 tens and 8 units. We shall add 7 units and 8 units. Let's add units first. By counting 7 after 8 on fingers, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So, 7 units and 8 units when added together make 15. That is 1 tens and 5 units. Now, this 1 ten has to be included in the addition. So, we make a new row above the tens and write 1 in it and then we add the tens. The carried over 1 will be placed in tens. Now, when we add the tens, we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 6. So, the shopkeeper should be paid 65 rupees, that is 6 tens and 5 units. We shall also use currency note and coins for addition. For example, how much is 25 rupees plus 47 rupees? 2 notes of 10 and 5 coins of 1. 4 notes of 10 and 7 coins of 1. 5 and 7, 12 coins, that is 1 tens and 2 units. So, use 1 note of 10 rupees for 10 coins. Count the currency notes of tens. So, now we need 2 plus 4 plus 1 equal to 7. So, we need 7 notes of 10 rupees and 2 coins of 1 rupees, that is 72 rupees. What did we learn? We cannot have any number bigger than 9 in units place. Number which is bigger than 10 is written in tens. If the addition of units is more than 10, then make 1 ten out of it. While adding, one more tens is made and called as carrying over. Exercise We have two sets of garlands and flowers. The first set has 5 garlands and 4 flowers. And in the second set, we have 3 garlands and 9 flowers. So, can you tell the total number of flowers? How many garlands can be made and how many flowers will remain? How many rupees in total? When you have 8 currency notes of 10, 8 coins of 1 rupee and 3 currency notes of 10 and 7 coins of 1 rupee. State the number of currency notes of 10 rupees and coins of 1 rupee. Add the following 75 plus 29, 88 plus 16, 83 plus 8, 49 plus 44. 